I wanted to go ahead and make this video uh, before I got to the blind because there are some deer that have been uh, bedding up close to the blind we're going to. Uh, we're not seeing a whole lot of white tail mature bucks. Not seeing many hogs coming in because of the acorns. But we're seeing a couple axis buck once every few days. So we're gonna get out there and get set up. All right, we'll see you on the blind. Hey guys, I just wanted to pause it right there for a second. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I, uh, I've, I made that hunt. And uh, as you see, I'm back home now. I'm back here where I take hundreds and hundreds of shots every week uh, to make sure that, you know, that I'm where I need to be on my skills to, to be able to make a shot on these animals as quickly and ethically as possible. This was my first shot of the season uh, 29 days in and uh, honestly it was nine o'clock <clears throat> I was packing up my things to go and I looked up and this big, big guy was out there as those of you that follow my channel know nothing gets wrong my heart rate elevated quite like these big axis bucks so when I do my drawback cycle I have a mantra that I walk myself through anchor point loose grip aim small and pull through the shot well, I got the first two of those down and then I, I let my nerves take over and uh, I squeezed off a shot before my bow had settled all the way down to the uh, small spot I wanted to aim at. And the result is, as you'll see, you know, I hit him in the spine. He dropped immediately. So I knocked another arrow, put it in his vitals and in less than 20 seconds. He was motionless. But for such an accomplishment shooting a big axis buck like this early in the season i should have been a lot happier but honestly my mood was a little down as you see the rest of this video so i was disappointed in my shot i hold myself to a, a higher standard but i'm going to go ahead and produce this video because i feel like uh, my lessons learned here can help somebody else uh, i've been bow hunting for 37 years and i've only done this one other time and i was 14 years old. So nerves will get the best of you sometimes, but we just gotta practice for that. What I like to do is when I draw back to my anchor point, if I can't slow things down mentally in my mind, I'll look away, take a breath and dial right back into the shot, calm, centered up and follow out the sequence I do for every shot. So. If you're new to archery, you're going to get your heart racing. Find your routine. If you need to take a breath, take a breath. Get zoned back in and let an arrow fly. So this was a beautiful animal. He's the second largest axis that I've shot with a bow. Um, and he's going to provide my family with at least six months of protein. I decided to move forward with producing and publishing this video in hopes that it could help somebody else out and not making that same mistake. So if you catch yourself in that position, take those extra few seconds to collect yourself and slow things back down. Uh, this is a beautiful deer and I'm getting uh, a Euro mounted so that memory's gonna be on my wall. Just thank y'all for sticking with me and uh, hope y'all can appreciate where I'm coming from. Let's go recover this guy. Look at this beautiful animal. 
Um, so fortunate, good Lord bless me, an opportunity to get my hands on this deer. Um, I'd be lying if I said that my nerves didn't get the best of me. Um, this guy got me shook up and um, he came out at an in-between yardage, 27.5 or 6 or somewhere around that. So I went with my 30 yard pin about one third the way up the body and of course I aired a little high. He ducked just a little and that combination put the arrow right in his spine. Fortunately I was able to uh, quickly knock an arrow and put a follow up shot to dispatch this guy in less than 30 seconds. And uh, we're gonna have access deer in our freezer this year. Uh, this has been a tough year. The acorns have fallen in big numbers. All my big whitetail, hogs, and turkey have all uh, went nocturnal on me. They're standing in the thick of the woods. And I'm thankful for y'all sticking with me. I know it's been a while since I posted a video up there. It hasn't been for lack of effort. I've hunted 12 to 14 hunts this year already, and this is the first arrow I'll let fly. So I just want to thank y'all for sticking with me and uh, look forward to bringing y'all more content this year.